Purandara Dasa Kannada, Purandara Dasa was a Haridasa a devotee, servant of Lord Hari Vishnu, great devotee of Lord Krishna an incarnation of Lord Vishnu and a saint. He was a disciple of the celebrated Madhwa philosopher Saint Vyasadurtha, and a contemporary of yet another great Haridasa, Kanakadasa. His guru, Vyasadurtha glorified Purandara Dasa in a song thus, Dasarandare Purandara Dasaraya. He was a composer, singer and one of the chief founding proponents of the South Indian classical music, Carnatic music. In honor of his significant and legendary contributions to Carnatic music, he is widely referred to as the Patamaha lit. Father, or the Grandfather of Carnatic music. He is respected as an avatara incarnation of the great sage Narada a celestial being who is also a singer. Purandara Dasa was a wealthy diamond merchant from Karnataka, who gave away all his material riches to become a Haridasa, a devotional singer who made the difficult Sanskrit tenets of Srimad Bhagavatam available to everyone in simple and melodious songs, and is one of the most important music scholars of medieval India. He formulated the basic lessons of teaching Carnatic music by structuring graded exercises known as Svaravalis and Alankaras, and at the same time, he introduced the Raga Mayamalavagola as the first scale to be learned by beginners in the field, a practice that is being followed till date. He also composed Gitas simple songs for novice students. Purandara Dasa is noted for composing Dasa Sahithya, as a bhakti movement vocalist, and a music scholar. His practice was emulated by his younger contemporary, Kanakadasa. Purandara Dasa's Carnatic music compositions are mostly in Kannada, while some are in Sanskrit. He signed his compositions with the Ankita pen name, Purandara Vitala. Vitala is one of the incarnations of the Hindu god Vishnu. Biography <inaudible> 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 Inscriptional evidence suggests Purandara Dasa was born to a diamond merchant in Dashastha Madhwa Brahmin family in 1484 CE in Shamapura, near Tirthahalli, Shivamaga district, Karnataka state. According to other opinions, his native town was Purandaragata in Karnataka, or Purandaragad near Pune, but the latter is considered a historical mistake, connecting his pen name. His Ankita with a location that mainly served as a military encampment in the 15th and 16th century, the only son of Varadapa Nayaka, a wealthy merchant, and Lilavati, he was named Srinivasa Nayaka, after the Lord of the Seven Hills. He received a good education in accordance with the family traditions and acquired proficiency in Kannada, Sanskrit, and sacred music. At the age of 16 was he was married to one Saraswati Bai, held by tradition to have been a pious young girl. He lost his parents at age 20, thereby inheriting his father's business of gemstones and pawning. He prospered and became known as Navakoti Narayana an abundantly rich man, worth 90 millions. Popular legend narrates a miraculous incident in Srinivasa Nayaka's life, owing to which, he was led to devote himself to the practice, propagation and inculcation of bhakti devotion towards Lord Krishna through musical compositions. As a natural, inescapable consequence of such a transforming event, ubiquitous in the lives of several saints throughout the ages, he is believed to have relinquished his former greedy and miserly self of a wealthy, having realized the worthlessness of attachment towards worldly possessions. The Lord, in a bid to cure Srinivasa of his tenacious materialistic delusion and attachment, and thereby claim his devotion to himself, approached Srinivasa in the guise of a poor man, with a piteous plea for money. Ostensibly, the money was direly needed to perform his, son's Upanayana sacred initiation. Having been summarily rejected, mocked and turned out, the poor man surreptitiously repeated his plea before Srinivasa's wife, a generous soul of rigorous spiritual nature, she gave away one of her precious nose rings, unbeknownst to her husband, the poor man sold the nose ring back to none other than Srinivasa himself. The shrewd Srinivasa, privy to his wife's open-handedness, immediately identified the nose ring as his wife's and hurried home, enraged and anxious to ascertain the truth of the matter, he demanded his wife to produce the nose ring before him immediately. Realizing that Srinivasa had grown wise to her secret donation, the wife decided to end her life with poison. Having completed her prayers to the Lord before her attempt, she was shocked to see a nose ring inside the poison cup, completely identical to the one she had just given away. Incredulous and rapturous, she recounted the entire episode to her husband, who was bewildered and lost. Meanwhile, a search for the poor man was of no avail, he had as mysteriously vanished as he had appeared. 
At that very propitious moment, Srinivas's old self, convinced of the inscrutable ways of the Lord, having witnessed the unfailing grace that saved his pious wife, bewildered at the power that could, in a moment, produce a gold ornament by mere will, instantly shook off that beginningless, persistent veil in the form of I and mine, which masks the men's vision of the divine. At thirty years of age, he gave away all his wealth in charity, and together with his family, abandoned his house to lead the life of a mendicant, living on alms and singing the glories of the Lord. In his very first song composition, he laments his wasted life of indulgence. It begins with the words Anna Lae Kara in the Shuddha Saveri Raga, set to Triputa Tala. In the course of his wandering he met the holy sage Vyasadurtha, one of the chief exponents of Madhwa philosophy and the Rajaguru of Krishnadevaraya, the emperor of Vijayanagara kingdom. According to Prof. Sambamorthi, Srinivasa had his formal initiation at the hands of Vyasadurtha in 1525 when he was about 40 years old, with the name Purandara Dasa bestowed on him. Purandara Dasa travelled extensively through the length and breadth of the Vijayanagara Empire in Karnataka, Tirupati, Pandarapura composing and rendering soul-stirring songs in praise of God. He spent his last years in Hampi and also sang in Krishnadevaraya's Durbar. The Mantapa Mandap in which he stayed is known as Purandara Dasa Mantapa Mandap in Hampi. He died on 2 January 1564 at the age of 80. Tradition and legend holds that he composed four, 75,000 kirthanas songs. Further, according to this legend, his original desire was to compose 500,000 kirthanas. Being unable to do it in his present life, he requested his younger son to complete them. His son Madhwapathi told his father that he could do this in his next janma birth. It is believed that he was reborn as the famous Vijayadasa, birthplace as Chikalparvi village near Manvi town, Raichur district in Karnataka state, and completed the remaining 25,000 kirthanas as promised. Most his songs are in praise of Lord Narayana and other devadas. Due to this, he is believed to be an avatar of Narada, the celestial singer and son of goddess Saraswati. One of the Trimurtis three icons of Carnatic music, Saint Thyagaraja, has paid tribute to Purandara Dasa in his Geya Natakam an opera Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam. <laughs> Purandara Dasa and Carnatic music Purandara Dasa systematized the method of teaching Carnatic music which is followed to the present day. He introduced the Raga Mayamalavagola as the basic scale for music instruction and fashioned series of graded lessons such as Swaravelas, Janti Swaras, Alankaras, Lakshana Gitas, Prabandas, Yugabogas, Datu Vares, Gita, Suladas, and Kritas. Another of his important contributions was the fusion of Bhava, Raga, and Laya in his compositions. Purandara Dasa was the first composer to include comments on ordinary daily life in song compositions. He used elements of colloquial language for his lyrics. He introduced folk ragas into the mainstream, setting his lyrics to tunes, ragas of his day so that even a common man could learn and sing them. He also composed a large number of lakshya and lakshana gitas, many of which are sung to this day. His suladas are musical masterpieces and are the standard for raga lakshana. Scholars attribute the standardization of Varna Metis entirely to Purandara Dasa. The itinerant Dasas who succeeded him are believed to have followed the systems he devised, as well as orally passing down his compositions. According to traditional sources, his compositions number as many as 4 lakh and 75,000. But not more than 700 compositions are accessible now. Purandara Dasa was a Vagayakara composer -performer, a Lakshanakara musicologist, and the founder of musical pedagogy. For all these reasons and the enormous influence that he had on Carnatic music, musicologists call him the Sangeeta Patamaha lit. Grandfather of Carnatic music. Purandara Dasa had great influence on Hindustani music. The foremost Hindustani musician Tansan's teacher, Swami Haridas also a Saraswat Brahmin was Purandara Dasa's disciple. In contemporary music In the pure Carnatic tradition, Bidaram Krishnapa was one of the foremost singers of modern times to popularize the compositions of Purandara Dasa. Singer Madras Lalithangi, and her illustrious daughter Padma Vibhushan, Sangeetha Kalanidhi M. L. Vasantha Kumari have rendered yeoman service in propagating the compositions of Purandara Dasa, both were considered as authorities on Purandara Dasa. 
M. L. Vasantha Kumari was awarded an honorary doctorate by Mysore University for her contributions to Purandara Dasa's music. Though the compositions of Purandara Dasa are originally in the ragas of Carnatic system of music, his compositions have been adopted and made equally popular in Hindustani music. Hindustani music legends such as Bhimsan Joshi, Madhav Gudi and Basavaraj Rajuru have made them more popular in recent years. Many other young and well-known artists such as Anant Terdal, Pandit Anant Kulkarni, Apendra Bhatt, Puttor Narasimha Nayak, Pandit Venkatesh Kumar, Nagaraja Rao Havaldar, Gunapati Bhatt, Vidyabhushana, Shankar Shanbhag flautists Prapanchand performing Purandara Dasa's compositions and other Dasa Sahitya songs in Carnatic as well as Hindustani music concerts. Of late, Mysore Ramachandracharya is industriously propagating Dasa Sahitya through his concerts. Tiryamala Tirupati Devasthanams is also propagating the Dasa Krithis through the Dasa Sahitya project. He also composed the first lullaby songs in Carnatic music such as Thugir Rangana Gumana Karyadir, etc., which led to the creation of many other similar songs by others. <laughs> <laughs> Memorials and monuments The Purandara Mantapa adjoining the Vijayavatala temple at Hampi is one of the long-standing monuments relating to Purandara Dasa. This is where he is said to have composed and sung in praise of Lord Vishnu. A statue of Purandara Dasa has been erected at the foothills of Tiryamala in Alipuri. A statue of Purandara Dasa adorns the Asthana Mandapam auditorium on the Tiryamala hill. Sri Purandara Dasa Memorial Trust SPDMT, formed in Bangalore in 2007, has been actively involved in promoting and researching all aspects of the life and works of Purandara Dasa. A 3,500 square feet concert hall, called Purandara Mantapa, has been erected on the premises of the Trust. The Indiranagar Sangeetha Sabha ISS at Indiranagar, Bangalore formed in 1986, has dedicated an auditorium of 600 seating capacity called Purandara Bhavana exclusive for cultural events inaugurated by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, to his memory. <laughs> Aradhana Aradhana is a religious devotional observation, held annually, to remember and honor saintly persons on the day of their departure from this world. Purandara Dasa's Aradhana or Punyadina is held on the Pushya Bahula Amavasya of the Indian Chandramana calendar a new moon day, generally in February to March. The musicians and art aficionados in the state of Karnataka, South India and many art and religious centers around the world observe this occasion in deep religious and musical fervor. His compositions are sung by established and upcoming artists on this day. In art and popular culture Biographical movies and documentaries Three biographical films, in Kannada language, have been made on the life and compositions of Purandara Dasa. Purandara Dasa Navakoti Narayana 1964 Shri Purandara Dasaru 1967 film director and playwright Gurish Karnad made a documentary film titled Kanaka Purandara English 1988 on the two medieval bhakti poets of Karnataka Topic <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy The philosophy of Purandara Dasa is harmonious with the concept of bhakti of Hinduism, broadly based on the Narada Bhakti Sutras and essentially synchronous with the pan-Indian bhakti movement. It teaches complete self-surrender and unadulterated love towards Lord Krishna, the Supreme. The philosophy of bhakti in Purandara Dasa's compositions stems from the essential teachings of the realistic pluralistic Madhwa philosophy of Vaishnavism, and has been rendered in simple Kannada. The individual soul jiva, is a pratibhimba reflection, of the Lord Ishvara, who is the bimba source. The jiva owes its existence, knowledge and bliss to the Ishvara, and any sense of independence with regards to one's actions and the results thereof is to be given up. The mind has to be turned away from transient pleasures and possessions of this world, instead, it is to be turned towards the Lord, who alone is the abode of unadulterated, unswerving bliss. His kirthanas have simple lessons in this regard and impel men to lead a noble life of a Vaishnava. Kastiism Purandara Dasa fought the evils of Kastiism through his songs. 
In his song Avakulavadarenu Avanadarenu Aatma Bhavavariyada Mili he wonders what is the use if one does not understand the spirit of humanism whatever caste or status one might be accredited to. In the same song when relating to cows of different colors and sugarcane of different shapes he emphasizes that one's birth cannot merely decide the highness or lowness of any individual. He asks will the sweetness of a crooked sugarcane be also crooked or will the milk of cows of many a color be also of many colors. Untouchability Purandera Dasa has made some forceful expressions on untouchability which was dogging the society. His strength comes perhaps from the support of his guru Vyasathartha with the backing of powerful King Krishnadevaraya of Vijayanagara himself. In one such song Holaya Horagathane Oralagalave he opines that an individual should not be branded untouchable on the basis of his, her birth in any specific caste, however it is rather his conduct which should make him untouchable if at all he can be called so. The usage of the word untouchable is not used in the limited context of physical contact with the person, it is the worthlessness of the association with that person which is highlighted here. This is evident by the subsequent expressions in the song which says that one who does not practice self-discipline is untouchable, one who plots against his own government is untouchable, similarly one who shirks charity while having wealth is untouchable, one who poisons to eliminate his opponents is untouchable, one who does not use soft language is untouchable, one who prides over his purity of caste is untouchable and finally one who does not meditate on Purandera Vitala is untouchable. Das's message is loud and clear rejecting untouchability in our society. He uses the name of Purandara Vitala to imply any god. This is evident from his other songs on various gods and goddesses. Similar ideas were expressed by many other poets also. Topic example poem, Good, he became an ascetic Hari Dasa Parandaradasa says how his wife made him Hari devotee and renounce all his crores of wealth and became an ascetic. Topic salutations Tirupati Tiryamala Devasthanam is propagating and popularizing the literature of Purandara Dasa under the Dasa Sahitya project. Topic compilations of Purandara Dasa's lyrics Gaja Vedana Beduv Gauri Thanaya A popular Purandara Dasa composition in Carnatic Ragam Hamsadwani Jackson, William J. 2002. Songs of Three Great South Indian Saints. Oxford, India. ISBN 0-19566051-X Kavyaprami, 1996. Purandara Dasa Hadugalu. Darwad, Samaja Publishers. Contains ca. 225 songs, in Kannada language. List of songs in Kannada at Wikisource 1 Topic See also Haridasa Shri Madhvacharya Vyasathartha Kanakadasa Anamacharya Shishanala Sharif Puttor Narasimha Nayak Dvaita Philosophy List of Carnatic Composers List of Carnatic Musicians List of Carnatic Instrumentalists Trinity of Carnatic Music Topic Notes Topic References Chaitanya Deva, Bigamudra Indian Music. Taylor and Francis. ISBN 81-224-0730-7. Gavai, Shashadri, 1956. Sangeetha Kalaravinda. Bangalore, Aravinda Publications. Iyengar, Masti Venkatesha Srinivasa, 1964. Dasa. Bangalore, Bangalore Press. Iyer, Panchapakasa, 2006. Karnataka Sangeetha Sastra. Chennai, Zion Printers. Kamath, Suryanath, 1980. A Concise History of Karnataka from Prehistoric Times to the Present. Bangalore, Jupiter Books. Kasabaum, Gayatri Rajapur. Karnatak Raga 2000. In Arnold, Allison. The Garland Encyclopedia of World Music. New York and London, Taylor and Francis. Sharma, BNK 2000. History of the Dvaita School of Vedanta and its Literature. Delhi, Mutalal Banarsidas. ISBN 81-208-1575-0. Thielman, Selina, 2002. Divine Service and the Performing Arts in India. New Delhi, APH Publishing Corporation. ISBN 81-7648-333-8. Dr. Vasudev Agnihotri. Parandaradasaru Matu Shri Mad Bhagavata Andu Tulanika Adhyayana. Ph.D. Asmania University Hyderabad, India 1984 Publisher, Samskriti Prakashana Setam. Kirtana Vidya Nagar Setam 58522 Dist Gulbarga Karnataka Topic. External links The Life History of Sri Purandara Dasa in Kannada Language Annual Purandara Dasa and Thyagaraha Aradhana in D.C., Maryland and Virginia 
Bhagita Lakshmi Bharama A popular Purandara Dasa composition in Sri Ragam Lyrics and translation of Purandara Dasa compositions The Hindu Online. The 20th of October 2006. Friday Review Chennai and Tamil Nadu. Columns, an authority on Purandara Dasa. <laughs>